Welcome to my WOW Chats, words of wisdom with people I admire and respect and whose work is in line with making this world a better place. And I have Robin Kerr with Hi. me. Hi, Robin. Hi. Robin's a physiotherapist. She's in Australia. And we met virtually, of course, on mm. social media a couple years. Me like, two or three years, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've um, always really liked how you you know, just sort of present yourself and your comments and you can tell that you're very knowledgeable. But we're here I to get myself into trouble. Yeah, <laughs> I've noticed. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, you, um, you're just very honest and um, you're very compassionate with what you have to mm. say, but you, you're very honest. And I think that's how we all get into trouble is when mm. we're really honest, mm. is my perspective. But, um, but yeah, so we're here at the San Diego Pain Summit. So this is the first time we've met in person. Yeah. And how did you like the conference? I was so pleasantly surprised. Um, uh, it was uh, friendly. Um, it was um, it was just easy to be here. Um, very often, um, when you go to conferences that I've been to before, um, it's there's a, there's definite hierarchies and there's definite um, cliques, if you like. Whereas this one, they didn't feel like there was any of that there, and and there really wasn't. There wasn't. Uh, a speaker or there wasn't a topic that I wasn't interested in so it um it, yeah it really does pay to sort of zoom out a bit and take the wider picture of mm -hmm. picture of things when it comes to persistent pain right yeah. yeah so and Robin works with um a lot of people that have persistent pain and persistent pelvic, pelvic pain, pain. Mm -hmm. um so can you just I know it's been a long week and we did <laughs> Bronnie Thompson's course two-day course we did mm -hmm. making sense of the evidence with Neil yep. O'Connell and then we had two full days of different presenters but just mm. all of that, is anything stick out for you like that you could take back, like some gems or words of wisdom? I think for me, um, I've pulled myself back out of physio. I work as a physio because I, for health insurance reasons and things that people can use me, but I, I haven't really functioned like a classic pelvic floor physio for quite a while. Um, and I, I think one of the things that I find with um, physio in general for me um, is that it tends to be quite um, hierarchical and very operator based. Um, so um, very tissue based um you pay me come to me i'll fix you you do as i tell you if you haven't done as i told you that's why you haven't gotten better gotcha. um, and and with pain you can't do that with persistent pain you can't do that so we have to look at the bigger picture and the biopsychosocial and one of the things um not so much in the the, the stats course but it, with the um, acceptance and commitment theory and all throughout the theme of the lectures that we sat through the last two days um I think there has been a underlying theme, not that the word was used, but an underlying theme of kindness. Mm. So, and that, that's what I was feeling the whole way through. I felt kindness coming from the speakers and I felt kindness uh, in the audience. That's beautiful. Mm. Yeah, and it shows up in different ways and different messages, mm. right? Yeah, absolutely. And just, just um, taking the time to let people speak. I loved um, Gilletta and Keith Meldrum's um, talk that was great to actually sit in front of two patients and let them talk um so i think uh, i think it was just it, it was a especially in australian physio um we're very uh biomechanically trained like we're the home of maitland and mulligans across in new zealand um, mckenzie's across in new zealand um jenny mcconnell's there so we've always been very manips and manual therapy and, and tissue based mm -hmm. and it was just really nice to see to zoom out and see the big picture and the whole person the whole person yeah. to be able you know to let them speak and to let them mm -hmm. you know establish their values and mm -hmm. where they want to go to um, instead of just telling them what to do mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and so how do you feel when you go back to Australia? I think um, it, I've practiced differently for quite a long time. I've been very motion-based and very, uh, a fairly heavy, I'm a TRE practitioner as well, so trauma release exercise practitioner. Um, so I've been treating a lot of people with persistent pain and trauma. And I think um, I've always felt a little bit on the outer. I, I've lost a job. Um, because I wanted to extend my appointments and not charge more. I often find in, in our community in Australia, people with persistent pain are at the end of their financial resources. Right. Um, so, you know, to me at this point in my career, I can afford not to, you know, go for the money with it. Um, so it's cost me a job, um, but um, it's actually coming here and seeing that 
the take I had on it um, is actually okay. Right. I, I mean, feel okay about it now because I was thinking maybe I'm getting this wrong, but I think I'm okay with and it. And you have some heart and there's, yeah. and you see the good work because for me, what yeah. I'm kind of similar mm. to you, you know, this path has been a long time, but when you start to have more and more support and you see other messages and other people it actually for me anyway yeah it just inspires me it makes you when it does get tough this mm. approach it just inspires you to find more creative ways to keep going and like you said like this mm. is you know um, and when I say this I mean like this person centered yes sort of um, whole person kind um, what are other words? I mean, the biopsychosocial. You can yeah. watch Ben Cormack's yeah, Wow Chat. BBS. We talked about the the BPS model, but yeah. um, yeah, I just it's 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 but what I'm hearing from you is that it's valuable. It was valuable for you to be here, yeah. even with the extensive background you have. Yeah, and I, the, I learned a lot. Social. The um the research that was presented um was very valuable. Mm -hmm. um, loved David Walton's talk. Mm -hmm. um, he's um. That was a really great talk. I found that very interesting about the gut biome and the hair mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. We just have to wait for him to finish that research. Right. That'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. um, which, you know, if, if you told me 25 years ago that we would be talking about gut biome and possibility of stress levels in early life and all that sort of stuff, mm -hmm. um, you know, linking to pain, um, it wasn't. It just still isn't something that's talked about. Mm -hmm. we, we still don't approach that very well. Right. Mm. So that that was great. But that, all, the, all, the, all mm -hmm. the talks were great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, any parting words? Um, I think the main thing um, that I'm coming to the end of my career now, I've got a, probably a couple of years to go before mm -hmm. I'll stop practicing, is uh, just to trust your intuition and trust your gut as to mm -hmm. what you need to do clinically. And it, it might put you in some sticky situations and time and times, but I think at the end of it, as I sat there today, I could feel that I hadn't gone up the wrong path and that I'd probably been looking at the right stuff for the last 15 years or so oh that's yeah. awesome so trust yeah. yourself yes robin kerr thank you Hi. so much <laughs> yeah. oh thank you thanks for watching this wow chat with robin kerr robin has a lot of articles and other podcasts on the internet just google her name and you will find all of her content and check out some of my other wow chats with other words of wisdom from people i admire and respect